This patient presented to the emergency department with a history of being diagnosed with pneumonia and altermentation, but she was also very anemic. Her hemoglobin was 4.8. Um, on auscultation, she did have a very loud murmur, but I did not hear any wheezing or any ronchi. Her oxygen level was okay. What I do see in this x-ray is actually not pneumonia. I mean, those are clear edges there. You know, down with the liver there, the clear edges here. I don't really see an infiltrate. But all I do see is the chest being taken up by this big area here. You can see this here. Almost like a bubble. And with an air bubble right here. So this is a huge, huge hiatal hernia. Uh, so that's taking up space in her lungs. So that even compromise her breathing, I'm sure, from time to time. Um, so this is, um, I do not believe has an infiltrator pneumonia, but she did end up having a resistant urinary tract infection. So we have to put her on gentamicin and um, a huge hiatal hernia, which might have been misinterpreted as pneumonia. Now, could there be a pneumonia underneath or behind that hiatal hernia? Sure, that could be possible. So other than maybe doing a CT scan, which can look at all planes, um, uh, this patient getting admitted anyway. She's already getting antibiotics for the complicated UTI. So it doesn't really matter uh, per se for the initial emergency room treatment, but it will matter for disposition and, and antibiotic selection and things like that.